Hello again everyone and welcome back to my messy workshop and for another video. Today we're going to take a look at the HP 14-DK1025WM laptop. Uh, I'm going to unbox this thing here. I'm not going to show you the unboxing. That's dumb. But uh, I'm going to unbox this, tear it apart, and do some upgrading to it. Uh, let's go over the specs for it first before I unbox it and do its initial uh, setup and testing. Uh, it's got an AMD Ryzen processor, 4 gigs of memory, a 1 terabyte hard drive, and a 14 inch display. And of course your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB-C port, USB-A, and a webcam, Windows 10 Home. Uh, usually when I see these laptops, it's Windows 10 Home in S mode, and this one actually is not S mode, which is awesome. Now, you can typically find this laptop at your local Walmart or, of course, online at Walmart, and there's other retailers that will sell this thing. Uh, normally, it goes for, I believe, $2.99 on Walmart's uh, website and at your local Walmart. Uh, if you look around, you might be able to find it at a little better price. Um Kind of an entry-level laptop. Uh, I, I have actually sold tons of these things to people. Um, it's, this is usually the one that I'll recommend for people that want to casually surf the net. And uh, also one that I recommend for um, college kids. Uh, good entry-level, good budget priced uh, laptop that performs quite well. Now, there is actually two versions of the uh, HP 14 uh, with the Ryzen. One has got the 128 gig SSD. One has got the one terabyte hard drive. So obviously with the SSD, you're getting the faster boot and faster, you know, loading of, of programs. And of course, with the one terabyte, you're getting more storage. Now, I decided to go with the one terabyte hard drive version. And then we, I did that for a specific reason and uh, I'll show you that after we crack it open and uh, I'll show you why that is but uh, let me get this damn thing unboxed and do the uh, initial setup on it and then uh, I'll come back okay I did the initial setup on this which took forever of course but uh, just to give you an idea of how this thing's going to boot before I do any upgrading to it let me turn off that there so we get a little light casting down um, let me power this on and let's have a look at this and uh feel free to go get yourself a cup of coffee while you're waiting that's this perfectly fine and acceptable and understandable but uh yeah of course you know this is going to be what you would expect with uh something that has a hard drive in it um not as fast as as uh most people would want it to be not the worst but uh well there you have it almost booted almost come on come on come on come on Oh, look at this. This this startup screen is taken forever. I mean, wasn't that initial boot there wasn't too bad, but then it gets to this, and it's just got to think and think and think. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> I just cannot stand laptops that are this slow. There we go. Finally, it's done. All right, so uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to power it down now and get the back ripped apart. Um that uh, i'm not going to show you the back coming off but let's just to, to cover that real fast in case you uh, haven't seen this there, there's lots of videos on youtube on how to do this uh, i'm going to take you know the two screws out there uh i'm going to get out my uh hair dryer warm this up a little bit take out these two strips uh, unscrew the screws there, pop that panel off, and that will expose, of course, the uh, insides there. So let me get that done real fast, and we'll take a look on the inside here, and we'll talk about this. Okay, so here we got it popped open, and now I can show you the reason why I, to I uh, took the uh, one terabyte hard drive version instead of the uh, SSD version. Um, the SSD version and the version with the hard drive are actually both the same motherboard. Uh, so by keeping the one with the uh, hard drive on it, right here you can see the hard drive, it actually comes with this little ribbon in here that is connected to there for the hard drive. So if you want to put a secondary drive in this, um, it's no trouble at all. 
Uh, otherwise, if you buy the one with the SSD, you're not going to get this little um, connector right here to put the new drive in. So the reason that I bought the one with the hard drive is so that it'll actually have two drives from the start. Uh, it'll have the SSD there, and it'll have the... Uh, secondary hard drive here which is actually the primary one at the moment but uh, we'll change that out and what i'm going to put in here is uh 970 evo plus took one of these off the shelf there 500 gig nvme drive that'll be a nice quick drive and you will definitely see some faster booting with that and then i'm going to pull out these uh this memory stick right here which is a let's see if we can get it out and see what it is see what the speed on it is uh, i think that looks like it's a pc 3200 huh now you know i didn't check to see what speed we were running at when i uh, initially did the boot up there but uh yeah this is just a little four gig stick we'll set that off to the side and we're going to put some crucial ballistics in there for this one um this this laptop is actually going to my nephew um robert robbie <laughs> and uh so he he wanted something uh you know in a budget price that he could afford i said yeah no problem bro i got the hookup for you i can get you something real good and then uh you know since he's family i'm gonna do some upgrading on it for him for free because i'm a nice guy like that but uh we're gonna make this into a pretty badass laptop here but that's what we're gonna start with is pull out that memory put them in there and we're gonna put our ssd uh in here and as you can see this one actually does come with a screw to add one in here now the last hp i worked on um didn't have this m.2 screw and you know luckily i had one up on the shelf but uh yeah this one is actually nice enough that it actually provides you the screw along with it so putting in the uh, nvme drive is not going to be any problem at all so i'm going to go ahead and uh, get that installed and uh, we'll continue with this video okay so I got a little bit more setting up to do on this, but otherwise it's pretty much done. I got Windows 10 installed. Uh, I did all the updates and drivers and what have you. Uh, a little bit of optimizing, but uh, let's check out and see how fast this boots now with that uh, NVMe upgrade and the memory upgrade. We'll push the power and let's check this out. Yeah, that's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, yeah, great improvement on this laptop. Uh, again, like I said at the beginning, this is one of those that you can get at Walmart. And uh, for the price to sell them at, $299, it's a pretty good deal if you know how to upgrade them. Um, just a simple NVMe upgrade would really, really improve this. Of course, more memory is always an improvement. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I don't like about them is that they come stock with 4 gigs of RAM. Um, that honestly is not enough for Windows 10 to run on. You need at least 8 gigs. This one has got 16. Uh, let's do something here real fast. We'll go into the task manager here and take a look at this under performance um, as you can see 16 gigs of RAM now down here on the speed I'm showing the speed is uh, 2400 megahertz so obviously it's not taking full advantage of that 32 megahertz uh, 100 megahertz speed memory that's in here but um, that's just kind of the way it is on these HPs you can't really adjust those it's kind of locked in and I'm not sure that the uh, mobile Ryzen is overclockable or adjustable either way anyways but uh we do have 16 gigs of ram in here which is fantastic you know it's four times more than what it had to begin with and then over here of course we can see um disc one is our ssd which is the samsung 970 evo plus and disc zero is the original hard drive in there which looks like it is a toshiba mq04 ab f 100 uh that would be the model number of the hard drive so we've got uh of course one and a half terabytes of total storage in this laptop uh, it's gonna be a nice little laptop for my nephew um 
I'm going to get a hold of him. We'll get his address and get this mailed off to him. But uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you the upgrade on this. Um, I will see you again in the next video. I've got a couple other projects coming up here that, uh, well, I got the arcade, of course, I need to finish up. And then I got another case that I'm going to go over and uh, talk about. But uh, we'll see you again uh, later, guys. Bye.